Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jessica, and today you're gonna get all kinds of cleaning motivation. I'm doing some meal prepping, and I also got a really awesome new cleaning tool that I'm super excited to share with you guys, so definitely stay tuned. So if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know I had all kinds of issues getting this video uploaded for you this morning. It turns out the footage of me making my bed was corrupt. So that's why I'm just starting in here vacuuming, but I did make the bed and film it. And for some reason or another, my computer just disagreed with me. So I did make the bed. That's where I started and that's all you missed. I am using my Thieves Cleaner. That is what is in that blue glass bottle. I've been using that and I have been loving it. I am not somebody who just uses non-toxic cleaning products. If you've been with me for a while, you know that. I love to experiment and try new things. I always will. So I'll never just use Thieves. However, I've been using it and I love it because it is so good on so many different surfaces and it also disinfects. And one of my number one questions when I first started using it was how does this disinfect? And I looked it up and it actually has ethanol in it and that is what disinfects when you're using this cleaner. That is the same thing that is in like hand sanitizer. But a lot of people have been raving about this. You've probably seen it before and it smells really good. It's completely natural, non-toxic, safe to use around your kids, your pets, and I use it on pretty much everything. You can clean the toilets with it. You can clean mirrors, countertops, granite. I even wipe down our coffee tables and our table with it, and the reason I love using it there specifically is because it doesn't leave any streaks or residue, and it is really hard for me to find a cleaner that doesn't leave one of those or maybe even both of those things. So I have been absolutely loving the Thieves Cleaner and so that's what I'm pretty much just using in this video. So for the inside of my tub, I am using the Comet Bathroom Cleaner in the lavender. Now the green one, the original scent, is way overpowering, very chemically, it burns, and I do not like that one at all. I love the lavender one, it's not like that at all. It actually smells so good. It cleans amazing, but it is so hard to find. Some people can find it at like Dollar Tree. They sometimes have it in stock at Walmart, but it seems like that's rare and I think you might be able to get it on Amazon but if you do find this I would really suggest picking it up and trying it and then if you like it stocking up because it is one of my favorite cleaning products ever you get on down close my eyes take me for a ride Okay, so now I'm just gonna wash all of the towels, the hand towels and the rugs that were in there. And I'm using this Persil laundry detergent and I think that one's the Fresh Burst. And then my Downy Unstoppable, these are, wait, maybe those aren't the Unstoppable. Those are just the Downy ones, then the Cool Cotton and then my Blue Suavitel. I do switch up my laundry stuff quite often, but it's between what I'm showing you there and then the Gain Original Scent Beads and the Gain Original Laundry Detergent. I pretty much stick to those two, but I have been loving the, the Persil. Somebody actually recommended that to me and I've been using it for about two weeks and it's really awesome.
now I'm doing Kinsley's room and I wanted to show you her new bedding set from Betty's. This is awesome. If you've never heard of them, this basically fits over their mattress like a fitted sheet and then it has the sheets and everything already sewn into it. And I'm showing you hers here. This is the vintage blush, but you, as you can see in this clip, I'm just zipping it up and that's the main feature of this bedding is that you basically just put it on like a fitted sheet and then you can zip it up and then the bed is made. So it's so easy to do that my five-year-old can make her own bed and then Madeline has one as well I'll show you in a minute and it definitely helps with getting her to make her bed because it's so easy basically to get in she just unzips gets in and then when she needs to make it she just zips it back up and then again it's really easy to throw in the washer because you're just taking the whole thing off just like a fitted sheet and then you're gonna wash it. So if you guys are interested in those, I will link their website for you and I will also have the coupon code down there because they did give me one for 20% off. So that is really exciting. And like I said, I will show you the one that I got for Madeline in just a minute. Apparently, Bailey thinks that I make the beds just for her to lay in. From the mess I made. When you come, when you come, everything just turns around. I get stunned by your drum. I follow you into the sun. Shooting race like a shotgun. You gotta be my someone. This is Madeline's Betty's bed set, and the reason that I like it is because it could be unisex, so if you have a boy, this one would work either way, just depending on how you dress it up, so we threw in some blush pink. I'm showing you her mess. I don't show her room too often. I don't clean her room. She does, so... I just keep the door closed pretty much in there. But now that we have the Betty's bed, I like to peek in there because she actually makes her bed in the morning. So that helps so much. Just making your bed helps a room look so much better. And so, um, like I said, we just kind of threw in some blush pinks to make hers more girly, but she picked that one out. She liked the neutral of it, and I thought that it was cute as well. So that's the one she got. And then on the inside of hers is a minky material, and then her sheets are like a gray and white design that's also unisex. So it definitely would work for a boy or a girl. Alright, so now I'm clearing off the island just so that I can do my meal prepping. I have been doing this for a couple of weeks now to just help me with my fitness goals that I have for the new year. I know a lot of us do, but I have been making some pretty easy meals. Definitely very simple. I'm a picky eater. So I'm just cleaning off the island really quick, jamming out to some music apparently, and then I'm going to make this for the week, and then I also did eat one for lunch on this day. On. I am stuck in the middle Tried to run but there's nowhere to go so I just have chicken breast, some brown rice, this green giant simply steamed Tuscan broccoli and then I have some minced garlic. 
I prefer to use fresh garlic, but I was fresh out. <laughs> so I just use the minced, but I like to add the garlic flavoring to the rice. It adds so much to me in my opinion. And then I also like to add some Parmesan cheese, but I just sprayed some olive oil cooking spray into my frying pan. I'm gonna cut up the chicken and then I'm gonna season it. I'll show you the seasoning that I'm using and then I'm just gonna cook it up. I'm cooking the rice as well. And then the broccoli, I just had to steam in the microwave. One thing that I will do next time when I buy the broccoli is go ahead and buy two because one of those packages was just barely enough to make the meals for the week. I really should have had a little bit more. In my last week's meal prepping, I used the frozen cauliflower, riced cauliflower and oh, it was phenomenal. I was so impressed. I was really worried and did not think I would like it, but I actually love it. I actually like it way more than I like just brown rice. So I didn't have any in this video to show you. I did share it on Instagram. Maybe next time I do a cleaning video if you guys want. If I get a lot of good feedback for this, I'll do it again if you want. So let me know for sure. And I'll show you what I use next time. But I will be using the rice cauliflower next time because it is so good. But the best part of it is there's like no next to nothing in it as far as carbs and calories. It's so, so good for you. and. It doesn't have a lot of those things in it so you can kind of eat it guilt-free which for me makes it taste even better but it honestly tasted really good and the texture of it was on point because I'm all about texture so I highly recommend the rice cauliflower and like I said I had it in the frozen one and I will show it to you guys if you want me to do another one of these meal prepping videos I will definitely do that but just let me know in the comments so I know I got these meal prepping containers off of Amazon. I will link them for you if you're interested. They were really reasonably priced and they are dishwasher safe. I never can say that, dishwasher safe and they are microwavable. So that is really good. So you can invest in them and then you can use them over and over. I had made some of the scrapped chicken for, that's Bailey. What is it? Did you guys hear her? I had made some scrapped chicken for the dog, so that was, <laughs> baby. So that was just me giving them a treat, but apparently she wanted to say hi to you guys.
So from having my cast iron skillet sitting here, it kind of left that ring as you can see at my sink. So I just took the soft scrub with bleach and I soaked that on there and then I used that brush and it came right off. I hate cleaning cast iron skillets. My husband won't even let me touch his because he has a specific way that he does it. So every once in a while, I'll just take a paper towel and kind of wipe his clean. So I bought my own to use when I use one. That way he doesn't fuss at me because he does not want me to use water on it. I know you're not supposed to use soap, but sometimes I have to soak mine in water because that's the only way that I can get some of the cooked on gunk off. But I do use like a metal spatula to scrape loose some of that stuff. And then I just wipe it out with a paper towel. But on this day, I was using my brush to scrub it and that seemed to work pretty good as well. But when you do use water, you will have to re-season it. I, cast iron skillets are, I have a love-hate relationship because they do make your food taste so good. If you hear growling, that's Bailey. She just really wants to talk to you guys today. But I have a love-hate relationship with them because they are really awesome to cook with. They make your food taste really good, but they are a pain in the rear end to clean. I hate cleaning them. So that is my opinion on cast iron skillets. At this point in the day, my hair just would not stay up in the back anymore. And as I'm editing this, it's driving me crazy. I had pinned it up and it would just fall loose. But these videos take me all day to film. It may look like, woo, she got all that cleaning done. Like, that's so awesome. But what you guys don't know is that it takes probably between six and seven hours to film one of these. And that's not even adding in editing, but it just adds so much more work when you're moving the camera around and you're having to switch out batteries and it is just a really long process. So my hair was not cooperating, but I am outside. I'm cleaning up this table just because I had looked out and it was really dusty. I am going to clean that sofa when it gets warmer outside. So stay tuned for that. I will do like an exterior um, or like a patio furniture clean with me. I do plan to do that. Um, also, I was just shaking out my rugs there and then I used that Febreze stuff to spray them. I do like to throw them in the washer, but I didn't want to this day, to be honest with you. I just had so many things going on, so I just shook them out outside and let them hang out there and just kind of get some air. Now I'm using my Indust. I've used this in so many of my videos, but if you are new here, I love Indust. It's a great dusting spray. It works on multiple surfaces, but I have found recently that it works phenomenal on stainless steel. Not only does it smell amazing, but it works so good. As you can see right here, look how shiny my stainless steel is. It takes off all the fingerprints, any dirt or anything that has gotten like sticky foods, it cleans it off and then it shines it up and just, it looks great. So if you didn't know that, now you do. And I highly recommend Indust. It is again, one of my favorite cleaning products ever.
Okay, so now I am about to show you my new cleaning toy and I have been wanting this for a really long time and I finally decided to just get it and I love it. It is the Crosswave Cordless Max. I have the Crosswave, the original one. I love it, it's great. I've used it for like two years now, but in this house we have so much hardwoods and just having to plug it in and move that plug around and deal with the cord, mm -hmm. There's Bailey again. It can be a pain in the butt. And so when they came out with this one, I was so intrigued. So I got it. And this is my first time using it. I cannot attest to the battery because I pretty much just used it right out of the box. I did not charge it. So it did not have a full battery. But they claim that it will last up to 30 minutes. So I'm excited to test that out. I love it though it does a great job i'm going to show you the dirty water tank you're going to see how much it pulls up but basically it's a vacuum and a mop it vacuums and mops at the same time so it's saving me time as well and i love that i can just pull it off the charger and go and you can keep water in the cleaning tank so you can just empty out the dirty one and then as long as there are cleaning pro product and water in the cleaning tank, there's my dirty water, then you're good to go. You just need to refill that as needed and then you can pop it off and clean a real quick mess or you can fill it up and go to town on your entire house, which is what I will probably do a lot now that I can not have to worry about a, car, a cord, which is awesome. But I am doing a video on it, an unboxing. I'm going to go over like how it works and some more specs on it for you guys. So definitely look for that. I've already filmed some of those clips. So I'm excited to get that out for you and let you know a little bit more about it. And then at that point, I'll also have some more experience with it. And I can definitely tell you if that battery claim is true. Well, if you've made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate you, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you will check out the description box for some links. I have some most often asked about items are linked in there, as well as the items that I talked about today. Also, I have my cleaning music playlist listed down there if you want some just music to listen to while you're cleaning. I've got that for you. But let me know about future videos if you want me to include that meal prepping in there again sometime, and I definitely will. But thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Get to know you.